folks. Something is wrong in America. No doubt about it. What is happening today, ladies and gentlemen, is very much the same thing that happened in Nazi Germany. The New World Order is going to be more like what Hitler envisioned than anything that Karl Marx ever dreamed about. And I look around and I see all of these people, blacks, Hispanics, Asians, all of these people who buy into the myth that socialism is going to liberate them. Socialism is going to re-enslave them. And it breaks my heart to work so hard to keep them free, only to see them working so hard to chain themselves once again. The heart and soul of everything that is happening, ladies and gentlemen, in the world today, the driving force behind it is an ancient secret religion. At one time, in the dim recesses of the ancient history of man, there was but one religion upon this earth, practiced by all men everywhere. It was the religion of the cosmos, the cosmology of the heavens. That is the heart and soul of the ancient pagan religions, which ultimately bore a philosophy which combined with science became the secret hidden religion of the ancient brotherhood. And it doesn't matter what you call it, Sabasius, Eusebius, Dionysius, Freemasonry, the Assassins, the Knights Templar, all of these orders practice and still practice to this day this hidden mystery religion. And that is the philosophy of this mystery religion that guides the agenda of the power that is directing world events today. The ultimate goal is to make the earth look very small, to present the people of the world with an external threat to this earth, a superior race from some other planet, vastly superior to us in intellect, philosophy, and technology in order to cause the dissolution of nation-states, the dissolution of all existing religions and the formation of the world's totalitarian socialist government, NASA is one of the main instruments of this deception. And is their religion that denies the existence of Jesus Christ, or even of a God, really? The closest they get to God is a sort of a pantheism but everything is put together. You've heard it in the New Age movement. As above, so below. If you step on an ant, it does something to somewhere on the moon. <laughs> that kind of thinking. John Dewey said, Someone once told me that the best way to end wars forever unite all humanity on this earth in a world government would be if we were attacked by some other species from some other planet. That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen, in 1917, and that's at least how old this hypothesis is. I should say this plan to deceive the world. 
It was tested in 1938 with the broadcast of Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater's War of the Worlds to present a hoax to find out if it was believable, if the populace would fall for it, and they did. In all of the towns and cities that heard this broadcast, people were terrified. They went outside with shotguns and rifles to look for the alien tripods so that they could shoot them before they destroyed their cities and their families and their industries. Well, the thrust of this is to destroy religion, and in specific, the Christian religion, and any other religion that believes that man was created here on this earth by God. For they're going to say that these Martians created us by interbreeding with backward, unevolved animals here on this earth. And they're going to point to the place in Genesis where it talks about the Nephilim, or the gods, interbreeding the people here on this earth. How can Christianity or any other religion survive? When the world is presented with what they will believe to be proof that life on this earth was not created by God, but by some extraterrestrial advanced race from some of the world. And that we have been owned by them and shepherded in our existence all through the history of the world. And that's the true purpose of the UFOs, flying saucers, and abduction reports, which are truly end result of some very sophisticated mind control experimentation. The technology exists, ladies and gentlemen. I have seen it myself. It is owned and operated by the United States government and probably several other governments on this earth. It is truly marvelous technology, but it does not belong to extraterrestrials of any kind from anywhere.